Hello everyone, welcome to the SBR exam tips for December 2018. My name is Nikhil Vichani and I will be sharing a few tips and some guidance about the December 18 SBR exam. So the first thing that we would do is uh, let's discuss in detail what the exam will look like and whilst discussing what those questions are, I will tell you some tricks and techniques that you should be aware of. So the first question that you have, question one, is mainly around consolidation. Not the whole question, but uh, at least half of it will be around consolidation. But please be aware for those who had uh, done P2 in the past or have studied consolidation in the past, this is not a number crunching paper. It's not going to ask you about prepare entire consolidated statements for 35 marks. You will have consolidation, but the principles of consolidation. So you should have the ability to talk and discuss about things like what about goodwill? What is happening in the calculation of goodwill? What have the directors done incorrectly? Not only that, for example, when you sell off a subsidiary, when you lose control, what is the implication? Not only the calculation, but how and why those calculations are done. So the two most important things in that is not really the calculation, but trying to explain to somebody why are you doing those calculations. And that is what the majority of the marks are to discuss what those calculations are. Please be aware when I say discuss, you don't have to go and write everything about the knowledge about, for example, goodwill or disposals. It has to be applied to the relevant scenario. What is happening in the scenario has to be discussed and of course with a few calculations. The second thing that makes up that uh, question will be accounting standards, which I will speak about how to tackle. But mainly around consolidation is question one. Question two of the exam is mainly around ethics. But when I say ethics, it's not only about writing all your principles about ethics that you've learned and studied in, in the previous exams. It's about applying those ethical principles into the accounting standards that are happening there. So in that question two, there are two elements. There are accounting standards that they will talk about. There are some incorrect treatments that are happening. You need to discuss those correct treatments with regards to your accounting standard knowledge. And these could be any accounting standards from ranging from the SBR standards to what you've studied in the previous studies of FR. Any accounting standard could be tested there, but you have to not only talk about the correct accounting standard, but more importantly about the ethics or the ethical implications. So what would be happening in those scenarios is the directors, the controller would be incorrect in their calculations. There would be one of their ethical principles would be compromised. The ethical principles of objectivity, of professional competence, of integrity, one of those principles would be compromised and you've got to address those in, those in that scenario. Again, please remember not to just write, throw in your knowledge into the question paper about ethics. That will not fetch you any marks at SBR. It must be applied to the scenario. Coming to section B, question three and four of section B. Remember all the four questions are compulsory in your exam. Question three and four will have three things with no specific order, but these three things would get tested in question three and four. The first being accounting standards. Now, when I say accounting standards, again, it's not, it's very, very poor exam technique and practice to just learn a handful of standards. That is not the style you should use in a professional exam. You must firstly go through the knowledge of those standards that we've learned. Like I said, not only the SBR standards, but the FR standards as well of, for example, PPE, intangibles, health for sale. These were done in your previous studies. You should not ignore them as well. How are you supposed to attempt those questions? Like we discussed thoroughly in class, please don't go and write all your knowledge about the standard. Talk about the standard very briefly, what is happening relevant to the scenario, the knowledge and then apply that knowledge. That's the key word, application of that knowledge into the relevant paragraph that they've given. The markers and the examiners don't want to see that you know and you've learned the standard. What they want to see is can you apply the understanding of what you've studied into those scenarios. 
And that's a big difference. You might know the standard, but you won't get credit for it till you don't show the application in that relevant scenario. So that's the first thing, accounting standards. Like I said, remember, you must know the knowledge, but you have to apply that into the relevant scenario and information given. Utilize the information that they have given you. The second thing that they will test you within these questions threes and four is something about current issues. What are current issues are things that are going to happen new in the accounting world plus some problems that exist with the current accounting standards. So we've studied a variety of topics in our revision sessions which we discussed. I wrote down the answers for you but I would encourage you to go through those topics have an understanding of what they mean and be able to address six or seven to eight marks in that in the exam. So for that what you must do is understand what we discussed. If you do face difficulties do read a bit extra about those topics. There are articles on the ACCA website under the SBR tab which talks about a variety of technical articles which I would encourage you to read which will help you prepare for that current issue topic. The final bit is the investor analysis which is where you have to be a bit careful because you have to be thinking outside the box, have a holistic view of the accounts and finance. Not just know the debits and credits, but be able to address issues from an investor point of view. For example, if there is a fair value model versus a cost model, how does that impact somebody analyzing financial statements? How do things like KPIs get analyzed? So thinking from the investor point of view, what are the challenges somebody faces whilst analyzing accounts? Challenges of debt and equity, for example. But I would warn you to please not go prepared in terms of three or four topics because anything that you've studied throughout your accounting life can be tested there. To summarize certain key tips that I would, I would uh, recommend is firstly, make sure you go through the knowledge of the standards that we've done. That's the paramount thing. You must know that knowledge, revise the summaries, the standards that we've done. Second, whilst doing that, please make sure you practice a lot of those questions because you'll be amazed that in today's day and age, we don't really write for three hours, 15 minutes. The exam is written for three hours, 15 minutes with a very minimum amount of calculations. So I would encourage you to practice at home to write those answers. Write it in the format that we discussed. Clearly, clear points, well explained. Leave space between your points as well. The next thing that I will, I will uh, give you as a tip is please make sure that you work on your time management. You have 1.95 minutes per mark. Make sure when you're practicing at home, you're looking at the clock and seeing how long it takes you to complete these questions. And the, and the final bit that I will leave you with is please do not stress in the exam. You will come across information sometimes which you have not seen before, which you have not practiced before. But do not panic. Try to comprehend what is given. Try to make the best attempt rather than getting stressed and worrying yourself. Because at the end of the day, it's not about knowing every single bit or every single mark. It's about knowing majority of it very well. In terms of preparation, I would, like I say, please make sure because SBR is a new exam, you go through the two specimen papers available on the website along with the September 18 exam. Apart from that, just want to wish you all the best. Hope to see you all smiling on 6th of December. Thank you all for listening. Good luck.